back working on the uh, stairs here. Um, we have uh, just the old hatch here. I'm going to use it to uh, sand on, but uh, these three pieces here are pieces to the top engine hatch um, that are original teak and just worn. It, still strong wood, no decay. Um, maybe a little bit of decay in this one, but again, still strong. It's just used as a step-up block for a latch. So uh, I'll sand this down, seal it, and uh, it'll be okay. And then, of course, handrail and a uh, little catch. Um, so today we're going to start working on uh, sanding those down to get them bound to prime. And then uh, this is the uh, finished product. We'll get it out of the sun there. Of the uh, stairs, the uh, bottom companionway stairs, plywood. Um, scars I'm going to have to fix over. That's from the, uh, the metal plate that goes on the base. Um, and I was dry fitting it and there's some, uh, the screw holes were just drilled through and it's rough on the other end. So um, it would be covered. So, but I just don't want the uh, wood grain to be exposed. So we'll seal those again. And then you can see three little holes three little holes and three little holes and then the same on the other side over here those are um, just pilot holes that I, I did I placed the old uh, stair um, on top of this one so that I could get the through holes for the actual stair risers uh, mapped out so I just did little pilot holes if they're incorrect I can fill them but um, I didn't want to start working on stairs without having some guide from the original. Um, and uh, it's better to have it almost exactly as the original. And so that's what this is. So I'll get working here. All right. So we have the, uh, the three pieces sanded down. Um, the teak is, like I said, in very good condition. and. So I'll be able to uh, re-epoxy those and then varnish uh, to cover them. Uh, probably have to sand this one just a touch more. It looks like a little bit of more resin down in there, but uh, those are in good position, you know, good condition. Um, the next problem that we have is this is one of the stair treads, as you can see the grip, um, but it was the one that was at the top of the bottom companionway, companionway stairs and it failed um, so here's the stair tread that broke apart because this side which is still in the, the the stair riser is still in good condition here but the plywood that was holding the bottom stairway up um, delaminated and of course the top tread the three bolts that hold the stair riser to it, um, let's see there's three holes on the side, came out of the plywood twisting the stair downward and that snapped this one, the only secured stair riser on this tread, in half. Well not quite in half, but um, I would have preferred to reuse the wood but I just don't feel comfortable drilling two holes to tap screws into the board to hold it together to trust that to hold the stair for long term. Um, I might still put some glue and try that and see how it comes out but I'm also I've traced it onto a piece of oak that I had from some stairs that I built um, to cut out a new one that'll be a solid piece and uh, I'll see which one of those two come out better for use. Um, of course original wood always better but maybe not as strong as making a new one so that's what I'm gonna work on now all right well sanded down the first of the stair treads cleaned it up a little bit but uh liked how much it came out and it's back to its natural wood. Here's the other pieces we sanded. 
Then I uh, got the other two stair treads out to do. Took their uh, grips off. And uh, about to start sanding on them. I'll leave the risers on though, so I don't have to take the plugs out on these. Because uh, the plugs are rather difficult to take out and then put new ones in. And I'll sand down the, uh, the two risers for that first step and uh, continue on but it's uh, starting to look pretty nice um, they'll look really nice when they're uh, revarnished and done up today we're gonna start stripping the top stairs uh, we finished stripping the bottom stairs you can see the top stairs has very Exposed wood, the varnish or lacquer or epoxy resin, whatever they more than likely varnished back back in '79. They usually varnished, I'm guessing, but most of it's gone. The wood's still in good condition, it's structurally sound. I don't have to do any repairs on this. I just have to sand it and recoat it um, because even the bottoms of these are still in good condition. Just exposed to the weather uh, that's just dirt from where it landed off the boat um, but uh, so that's what we're gonna do today is start sanding this down uh, you can see those were the uh, non skid um, little pads uh, that's why there's three of them all in good condition uh, underneath you can see the original coloration of the wood that was protected. Uh, we'll have to buy a new non-skid and put it back on. Alright, so get started uh, doing this. Um, yesterday's projects here, walk in the uh, garage, we uh, finished stripping the three bottom stairs. So there's the one that I'm gonna have to work on the riser again I patched this one which is cracked right here um, it's pretty sound I might reuse it if not I have made a new one out of some oak that I can use I just got to drill the holes into it but you can see one step there that's the top one that was broke while I was sanding this one snapped right at the uh, screw hole so I have to patch it there's the piece from it um, and then of course these came out really nice sanded but to make it all look the same I'm gonna sand the uh, the stairs down and of course you know epoxy them the same as these so um, but they'll all be covered and coated and waterproof again so the water the wood the wood won't uh, continue to uh, deteriorate and again, there's the new uh, hatch covers and stair back. That's the old. Anyway, let me get started. Alright. Three, four hours later. Uh, this is the end result of sanding down those stairs. You can see where the steps used to be or the grips and uh, still got a little bit of touch up with the places where the sander won't reach but first coat's done I got my helper Rory here say hi Rory hi yeah so it came out really good the um, wood like I said no, video for the three Frenches. So the wood uh, is still in good condition, other than a little bit of top rot, which right here, if you want to see, you can see the rot in between. It's just a little bit, but um, definitely caught it on the beginning. 
um, put some acetone on to uh, clean out the wood, kill any, you know, growth, mold, bacteria that's in there. Um, now I'll let it dry out for uh, a few days or well, probably through this week. All right, well, today we're going to try a different color mahogany stain. The other one was a uh, walnut, so all I could get at the local Ace Hardware, which is close to us. So we went to Bigger Town and Home Depot and got the, the gel stain mahogany. So we'll see uh, what color that comes out. Definitely a better color.
Okay, so these are our stairs, the actual upper ladder stairs. Anyway, I had sanded the other day. They, uh, like I said before, were exposed on the top of the treads to kind of rot. I mean, you can see where the wear in it is just eating away at the wood. But uh, we're going to uh, stain and reseal these so that we don't have the possibility of it uh, deteriorating more over time. Uh, we want to preserve as much as we can here and uh, also keep the color uh, from the other stairs that we did. So uh, what I'll do is uh, stain these next. coat actually um, on it and uh, you can see that it, it really absorbed that coat probably not the best it's getting a little cloudy here it might actually rain um, in which case I'll take everything inside but um, it really did absorb it well its uh, coloration is uh, very good um, and uh, Everything got stained on the stairs. I got to do the other side of the stair treads for the other part. So that's what it was before we stained it. And then, again, that's what it looks like after stain. So all the pieces gotten stained. Next, I'll stain the three stair treads, the back sides of them. I'll move this stuff out of the way. Uh, coming along. <laughs> 